the challenge is not so much in the photography itself, but in choosing uh, to move away from that comfort zone. Once you've done that, the rest is not so difficult. I'm Shahid Alam. I'm a photographer, writer, human rights activist. I live and work in Bangladesh. The book is called The Tide Will Turn. Um, it's a line that I stole. Um, while I was in jail, the writer Arun Thadi Roy, she wrote me a letter um, on my hundred day of imprisonment, um, where she mentioned that the tide would turn, that we would have our time, and that these power structures would be broken down. I found it a very powerful idea, and with her permission, I stole, stole that line, and that's the line that we use as the title of the book. There are several segments to the book. Um, it begins with uh, a preface which talks about my time in jail. Photography is a medium that lends itself to the visual. It's very good at documenting what is in front of your eyes. It isn't as good at photographing the unseen. While I was in jail, the camera itself was missing. So not only was the subject not accessible, I didn't actually have the tools for uh, taking pictures. Um, so that chapter is about how a photographer tells stories when the camera itself is missing. Of course, I've resorted to words, uh, but I think the absence of not only the image, but the camera itself is an interesting aspect. And then there are two meaty chapters. The main chapters of the book are about art and politics and the interplay between art and politics. They're entwined. Uh, so there is this dance between art and politics, which I unpack through those two chapters. And the last chapter is made up of the letter I referred to, Arundhati's letter to me, which was written while I was in jail, and the letter I wrote back to her when I came out of jail. And that pretty much wraps the book. <laughs>